Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pauline Nim and I hope you all are doing well. If you have not subscribed to my channel as yet, please go ahead, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll not miss any of my uploads. I would like to share with you a Sephora haul. Yes, I know I said that I'm not buying anything else for the year. But there are some things that I needed to replenish and some that I just needed to buy. So let's get into it. Let's start with the Norvina palette from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This is a gorgeous palette. Absolutely stunning. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It blends out beautifully and I love it. Here's the beautiful velvet outside. It's just a gorgeous package and it comes with 12 shadows and a brush. So I used four of the shadows. Let me take the brush out because I'm just going to fall out if I try to show you the ones that I use, the shadows that I use. So let me cover the mirror. So I used Soul Incense uh, Eccentric, right? Eccentric, Celestial, and Drama. Soul, this one, in my crease, followed with Eccentric followed with, I did incense already, did I? So it's soul, incense, eccentric. Then I did celestial, this one, and drama, this one on the outside. Blend beautifully, absolutely beautifully. And just it's just a beautiful palette. I love the hues that are in this palette. I don't have these colors in any other palette and this is just absolutely gorgeous. And this retails for $42. I then picked up the Nest Fragrances White Sandalwood Eau de Parfum and this is a 1.7 fluid ounce. This was on the weekly wow that Sephora does, which is usually 50% off. So this retails, the 1.7 retails for $68, and I picked this up for $42. So I didn't really get 50% off, but still. White sandalwood. And it looks like this. Just a gorgeous package. Mm. Oh, that's nice. You will definitely be getting a review of the Nest Fragrances White Sandalwood. Mm. Oh, it's good. Then I picked up the Too Faced Born This Way, the oil-free, undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation. And in my last video, my empties, I showed you the, um, oh, I'm sorry, did I not show you the box? I, you saw that I discarded uh, the caramel. The other one that I used was caramel. And I love Too Faced foundation. I'll tell you why, because I am oily and I have acne skin. I have to use foundations that are uh, acne skin friendly or oil free. So this is oil free. There, there is a difference though between this formulation and the previous formulation. And I say that because Too Faced partnered with a woman of color, Jackie Ina, who's a YouTuber and she helped them to expand their shade range and to add a few that were missing in between shades. I didn't see the caramel that I was using before, so I picked up Brulee. Now, when I said the foundation formula was different, 
in the previous one, it was, it's matte. This is matte as well, but that one was really matte to the point where it made your skin look flat when you wear it. But I like that because I can always use a blusher. I can always use a bronzer to liven up the skin and give it that extra radiance if I needed. Well, this one, this new one has radiance in it. It's what I'm wearing at the moment. But this Born This Way foundation is absolutely beautiful on the skin. The caramel that I wore had an undertone of yellow. I am I'm a, I'm a yellow golden undertone. Sometimes it depends on the brand. I could be olive or yellow golden. And this one has a slight reddish golden undertone, but it still looks beautiful. It still gives me a beautiful finish. And I've been wearing this now for, I received my package last week. So I've been wearing this now for five days. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I possibly will get a backup. Okay, so that's a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And then I picked up the NARS Luminous All Day Weightless Foundation. Now I told you, I just made the statement that I use because I have oily skin. I only use oil-free foundations. But this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation is so beautiful. It's so pretty on the skin. It gives you that beautiful glow without looking sweaty and gross. And even though I'm oily, I wear this, what I do to keep my skin looking beautifully matte, I would then put a powder, a translucent powder on first. Yes. I put translucent powder on first before I put on this foundation and it keeps me matte all day. So I love the finish. This is the only uh, non-oil free foundation I will use. Absolutely love it. Oh, really nice, and I actually showed it to you, wasn't it? So here it is. Love this. And the one that I currently have, I this one is medium dark, and it's Macau. And I'm currently using um, Tahoe, which is a bit lighter than this. But it's beautiful on the skin. It's, it's just... If you have normal to dry skin or dry skin, or even combination, you will love this. Oh my God, it's absolutely beautiful in the skin. And continuing with the foundations, I then wanted to try this Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation, and this is an oil-free uh, foundation. It is in Cocoa Deep. I also picked this one up on the Sephora Weekly Wow. This usually retails for about, I think it's over 70, over $69, I think, I think, but I picked it up for 39 and this is in Coco Deep, number 86. Now, why did I think that this would be my color? But anyway, it's too dark for me, but I tried it on this morning. It, the finish, although it's too dark, the finish is glorious. It is very sheer. So it's beautiful, it's sheer, it's glowy, but it's, I think it would be perfect for on those days that you wanna to run to Walmart or run into Target or run to buy groceries. I think you would love this if you get a chance. And right now, as I said, they're on sale at the moment. So if you want to get a high-end, a luxury brand for half the price, I think this is the time to buy it. So again, and if you have oily skin, this is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. So I'm going to return this and get one in my actual shade room. But other than that, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. And then I picked up something for my non-existent eyebrows. And this is the Benefit Cosmetics Defined and Refined Brows Precision Kit for Expertly Defined Brows. 
uh, looks like that. And it comes with three, four, four items. So you have the Bravo Conditioning Primer, Nutrient Rich Primer for Fuller Looking Brows. Then the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 6. Ultra Fine Defining, Ultra Fine Brow Defining Pencil. The Brow Mapping Tool for Personalized Symmetrical Brow Shape. And High Brow Pencil, Creamy Brow Highlighting Pencil. This is too cute. How beautiful is this? And, whoops, here are the products. So lovely. I'm really excited to try this uh, because I already don't have any eyebrows. So that is going to be wonderful. And then I picked up the Cover Effects Bronzer. Because the bronzer that I have is from It Cosmetics and I've had it now for over five years but what it's the big you know that large big faced disc like this that's the one I love it but it really is time for me to discard it so here is the current effects bronzer and this is in sunset and although I, I have it on right now it is lovely but it does look a bit it does look a bit light it is coming off light on camera but it is a lovely finish it really is it's looking a bit red but it is a beautiful beautiful finish so if I had to return it I'll probably get something a bit darker because um, this one is more of a warm tone I need something of a cool tone and then I picked up the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick. And this was Weekly Wow as well. Their lipsticks usually retail for $21 and I picked this up for $10. And this is in... Can't touch this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so here we are. I tried this on, I was going to wear it in this video, but I'll show you why I didn't. Do you see how it goes on really full and beautiful in some areas, then it skips and looks patchy in others? That's why I didn't wear it. Beautiful. It's just a beautiful color. But I just can't do that. It's just too patchy. And I put it on and I had to take it off and do it again. And I thought, listen, my lips can't take this. I just couldn't do it anymore. So this, although the color is beautiful, maybe this is a bad batch. I don't know. But I can't take the chance and I won't keep it. So this will definitely be returned. But the color is beautiful. And that shine on it is gorgeous. And then I picked up a few things in the... Um, oh, lastly, let me just say. I picked up the Urban Decay Grindhouse Double Barrel Sharpener. Oh my God, this is so good. I've always heard YouTubers talk about the sharpener. And... I would look it up and I saw the price of $10. I said, why? When I can go into Walmart and get it for 99 cents. But as my father always says, a cheap man buys twice. In my case, 20 times. So um, I decided to get this one, Grind House by Urban Decay. Oh my God, it's so good. And I love that it has on top right there it has the casing to hold the shavings in I love it so that's a sharpener yes I paid $10 for a sharpener 
you will too once you figure out how wonderful it is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time with me because I had fun presenting this to you. So thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll not miss any of my uploads. And as always, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, pay it forward. Until next time, bye-bye.